how to share notion page with others hey guys welcome to this amazing tutorial in which i'll cover how you can share your notion page with your team members and others so let's get into it first of all you're gonna open up your notion.so and you will land right here so i have signed into my notion.so you will sign into yours when it comes to Notion, we are always struggling with sharing and we struggle with the different settings and different authorities and roles we want to assign to different team members. So I will address all of your problems and show you very simply that what are the different members and permission settings we get within our Notion. So first of all, you're going to log into your Notion.so. If you do not have Notion yet, you can create one by going to the website and you can sign up with your Google account or using your email address. So once you have your Notion.so, you can select your workspace. Now we can have more than one workspaces on Notion and each workspace has its own team members. For instance, I have created this workspace here and you can see it has all of my different pages and different tasks and projects that I have created. Now once you create a workspace, it shows you the name of the workspace at the top here. Then we have our search, updates, all team spaces, settings and members. So first, if I click on all team spaces, what does this mean? Again, these are the different workspaces that we have created. So you will select the workspace first. Keep in mind, our different workspaces can have different team members and different projects. So once you have selected the team space or the workspace, then you're going to go to settings and members. Now within your settings and members, you will be able to find your account, notifications and others. And then we have our members settings right here. This is where I'll be able to check my members and I'll be able to even assign different roles to them, give access to each member according to their task and according to their role. So this is where you will find members. Now, uh, if I actually take you back for a second and show you the most basic thing, which is sharing your Notion page. How do you share? How do you add these members? Well, it's really easy. Whenever you have opened up a project like this, at the top, you will get the share option. Click on share and this is where you will get your share link. So I will enter the email address of a person here and click on invite. One, uh, select invite and invitation will be sent to them. And now you can see it's giving me a drop down here. So this is where I select if I want to give them full access can add it, can add it content, can comment, can view or even remove the team member. Now this is really important when it comes to adding a team member to your Notion page. So you can see we have can edit, can edit but not share with others. Giving full access means that this person can also share this page with other members. Then we also have can edit the content can edit content but cannot edit at the database, views, or structures. Now, this is the kind of uh, permission we give to our content managers. Then we have can comment, can view and comment but not edit. Now, this is the kind of access we give to our simple team members. We can assign tasks to them. They will be able to see it. They will be able to comment it but they cannot actually edit the task. And then we have cannot edit or share with others. So again, if you just want a person to just view the task and view the page, then you will select this option. Now, this person won't be able to comment, won't be able to edit, won't be able to share, just view. And then we have the remove option. So I have added this person and I want to give them full access. So I will select this option and an invitation will be sent to them. We can also invite people with a link. So you just click on copy link and you can share this link to your groups, maybe Slack, Gmail. You can share the link and they'll be able to join uh, with a simple invitation. An invitation is sent to them on their email. So now we know how to add team members and how to give them access. Let's get back to our members settings now. And this is where I can do more with my members. Up first, you can see we have members, groups and guest. Now, keep in mind that there are there is a difference between a member and a guest. If I want to invite someone as a guest, then this depends on the invitation that we have sent. 
For instance, if I take you back to share again, here you can see it says invite as a guest. So if you do not want to invite them as a guest, you can get rid of this option. So we'll go back now. We have invited team members and guest as well. So in my team members, I have two users that I have added and these are my team members. Here again, we're getting an invite link. This is the invite link to my team space and I can copy this link anytime I want to and share with others. To add a member, we also get the option here. Click on add member and again, you'll be able to invite them. We can also create groups. Click on groups and you'll be able to create groups with a plus plan. So for this, you will actually have to buy the plus of uh, Notion. I'll actually show you the pricing plan at the end. So you will have an idea that what you have to pay. Uh, upgrade to plus plan to set up groups and control permission from the share menu. So you even with the share menu, you can add different, um, you know, permissions and give permissions to your team members. Now here I have added two team members, team spaces. It shows me the team spaces this user is added to. So they're added to two team spaces right now. And access level is actually full access. They are, that is why they're known as workspace owner. Now, this is me actually. So I'm going to keep myself as the workspace owner. But I also see that my team member, who is a manager, is also referred as workspace owner. Now, this is what I wanted to change. I want to actually change them to a member. So we're going to select that and now you'll be able to see again this permission option is available in the upgrade plan. So that will take us to the uh, pricing plan of Notion. So let me quickly go through this. Um, with the plus plan, uh, you will be able, you can actually go to the yearly and get 20% off. So this one is going to cost you $192 for a year. So if you go with the monthly, it's just $20 per month. So with $20 per month, you'll be able to actually do a lot with the permissions of your team members. Similarly, we can go to the security here. And within your security, you'll be able to see that there are different securities for different roles and it's very secure. Now I can go to the guest option here. So this is the person we added as a guest. So the guest is added to just one page. Now this is the difference between adding a member and a guest. A member is added to the team space while a guest is added to just a Notion page. So if someone asks you to add a member or a guest to just one page of a team space, that means we'll be inviting them as a guest. But if someone says that you have to add someone as a member, that means we will be adding them to the team space and they'll be able to access all the pages within the team space. For each member, there are going to be different settings and different notification settings as well. And now I can just use my Notion and I have added my team members. This way, I will be able to manage and collaborate with my team better. You can see when we create a task, I can assign my task to different team members and guests. So this is the list that I'm getting and I will assign it to another person. Similarly, when it comes to adding uh, comments and viewing a task, my team members and guests can view and add it a task as well. If you want to create a new workspace, you can create it from this plus option here. And while creating a workspace as well, it asks you to add members. If you sign up and within your initial sign up, it will again ask you to add team members and invite team members. So you may skip uh, that step uh, there, but you will have to add your team members and it's actually very easy to do. Just click on the share option at the top and you'll be able to share your workspace. Keep in mind, if you have created and you have published your workspace, that means that it is going to be on the web and anyone will be able to access it. So yeah, guys, these are all of the permission and team settings that I wanted to show you for Notion. And now you know how to share a Notion page with others. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.